Slithery snakes. Slithery snakes. Focus question: What are snakes? Introduction: Snakes are reptiles, a class of animals that also includes lizards and turtles. Snakes have no legs. They come in many lengths, patterns, and colors. There are several thousand types of snake. They live in oceans, in trees, and on land, and they have adapted to survive in unusual ways. Snakes live almost everywhere except Antarctica. Some places don't have any snakes. Snakes do not live in the wild on islands such as Ireland, New Zealand, and Iceland. Some snakes in the wild may live up to twenty-five years. Biggest and smallest. The largest snake is the green anaconda. A full-grown green anaconda can be close to ten meters long and weigh more than two hundred thirty kilograms. One of the smallest snakes is the thread snake. It is only about twelve centimeters long. Snake traits, like all reptiles, snakes are cold-blooded. Their body temperature changes as the temperature around them changes. If a snake needs to warm up, it lies in the sun. If it needs to cool down, it rests in the shade. Snakes become much less active in winter. Some snakes that live through cold winters find a place underground or beneath a rock pile to stay warm. Another way snakes stay warm is by looping around each other to share body heat. Snakes have a long backbone with ribs. Their backbone is made up of many spread bones. Because of these, they can move in many different ways. A snake's body is covered in scales. The scales protect it. They also help keep the snake dry. The scales grow from the snake's skin. Some snakes' scales are colorful. Other scales help them blend in winter with their surroundings. Since snakes have no arms or legs, they use their scales and muscles to move. The scales on their belly tightly grip the surface be- beneath them. Their muscles help them move from side to side or slither along the ground. Some snakes even use their muscles and scales to climb trees. Snake scales look like a single sheet of skin. Snakes don't really shed skin. Instead, they shed two outer layers of their scales. Snakes may shed up to four times per year. This is called molting. During molting, a snake rubs against a hard object such as a rock or log. Rubbing helps its skin stretch and split. Then the snake crawls out and leaves it behind. Snakes shed for several reasons. Young snakes shed more often than other snakes. Because they outgrow the skin faster, unlike other animals, snakes' skin does not stretch as they grow. Another reason snakes shed is to get rid of parasites they may grab onto their old skin. Scales also protect the snake's eyes. Unlike many animals, snakes do not have their have eyelids. Instead. Each eye is covered with a clear scale that protect protects it from drying out. Because of this, snakes can't blink. Snakes do not have their eyes and ears. You can't see. Instead, sound passes through the jawbone to the inner ear, which sends a signal to the snake's brain. Snakes have developed a, a different ways to hear sounds with this method. Another important feature of a snake is its tongue. A snake smells with its tongue. Its forked tongues tongue picks up scents from the air. Scent particles stick to the tongue. The snake then pulls its tongue back into the, its mouth. When its tongue t- t- touches the roof of its mouth, a special organ helps to identify the scent. Some snakes are able to sense the heat of animals nearby. Pits near the snake's eyes can sense the air temperature. This kind of sensing helps these snakes judge distance so they can hunt for prey in the dark. Hunting and eating, snakes are carnivores or meat eaters. 
they out or they eat other animals in one of the three ways. Some snakes use venom when biting their prey. Other snakes called constrictor squeeze their prey to death before swallowing it. Some snakes grab their prey with their jaws and swallow it alive. Most snakes upper and lower jaws are loosely connected. As a result, a snake can spread its jaws and open its mouth wide enough to swallow large objects. Snakes' teeth are mainly made for catching and holding prey. Their fangs and other teeth curve backward, which pushes food toward their throat. They push their breathes breathing tube out of their mouth so they can breathe as they swallow their prey whole. Snakes use strong muscles to move the prey into the stomach and intestines. Intestines. Strong stomach acids turn the prey into liquid so the snake can digest it easier. How snakes are born. Most snakes that live in cold areas mate in the late spring or early summer. Snakes that live in warmer areas may mate at any time of year. The male snake usually leaves afterward. About two thirds of all female snakes lay eggs in a safe place and then leave. Baby snakes grow inside the eggs. Most of them have sharp teeth that they use to cut through the egg to hatch. Once a baby snake leaves the egg, it must face many dangers to survive on its own. Some female snakes hold their eggs inside their body until they hatch. Then they give birth to little babies. Venomous snakes. Venom is a dangerous substance. Venom comes from the fangs of the snake's jaws. Venom is made in sex behind the snake's eyes. Some fangs are hollow so the venom can flow, flow through them from these sex. Snakes use venom to defend and attack. Snakes usually inject more venom when they are defending themselves. The venom paralyzes their prey. Some inject venom and let they, the prey go. Then they track the prey until it dies. Other snakes use their teeth or body to hold on to prey until it dies. Then they eat it. Venom versus poison. Also commonly confused, venom and poison are not the same thing. Poison is observed through the skin, eaten or breathed it in, while venom is injected into the victim by means of a bite or sting. Conclusion Snakes are among the animal kingdom's strongest hunters. They have survived in most places all over the world. Their senses have adapted to the natural world in many ways. Snakes are fancy nading animals. They adapt play an important role in our environment.